Welcome back to another thrilling episode of Golf F- Yourself Podcast. I'm sorry, Bella. It is folk. That is what I said. <laughs> try, try it again from the top. I am the organ. I am the organ. (laughs) Shut up, you thrall. (laughs) Welcome back, boys and ghouls, to Go Folk Yourself podcast, rated E for explicit, where they say things that are very naughty indeed. You will watch the little ears as I feast upon the blood of the innocents. Can we go ahead and cut that? Yeah. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the latest and greatest installment of Go Folk Yourself, an American podcast, broadcasting to you live from sunny Orlando, Florida. Here we are, yet again in the new year, and we are surrounded by nothing because we sold all of our stuff and that long-running gag is over. Liquidation! That's right. <laughs> the credit card bills came due yep. and everything got repoed. Yep. So. Yeah, you kept hearing us talk about Patreon and only a few of you listened, so <laughs> we lost all of our extravagant shit. No, I'm, I'm confused. What is Patreon? <laughs> Patreon is a scam. It's, it's a pyramid scheme where we take people's no, money stop. by not giving Brett, them anything God in damn return. It. Knock it off. <laughs> no, that's actually not true anymore. We're going to be giving shirts, pins, buttons, whatever. Fucking go there Stickers, and you can look at yep. whatever it is. Yeah, there you go. That's where you can find all of our shit on Patreon.biz. Nope. That's not the website. So close. You know Nailed what? We'll it. just put the social media plug at the end of this episode. Yeah, yeah. Those, yeah right? we sure recorded did. that so we didn't have to remember it anymore because no one did. Yeah. And now it's just a plug and play clippy. Yeah. <laughs> I see you. you're trying to plug a podcast. Uh-huh. Can I help with that? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, everybody, we're broadcasting to you live from 2019. Happy New Year, mother folkers. We missed you all. That's God, a what, our a, joke, what a great yeah. year it's been so far already. Yeah. Uh, Donald Trump got arrested. That yeah. was awesome. Awesome to see. Yep, it, was it was crazy. Uh, and then the White House actually burnt down. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, again. Yeah, and Barack Obama and Joe Biden are back in office because we decided that the 2016 election was yep. null and void. Yeah. So we're starting that over. So Barack's like, let me just work this let out. Let me just 20- uh, uh, go ahead and run uh, this for a little bit. And Joe's like, get me on a train. <laughs> <laughs> Throw up the aviators, Barry. We're Fuck going yeah. back. <laughs> We're, back. We're getting the band back Fun together. Fact, there is there is a book someone wrote that is uh, a like basically a Hardy Boys adventure of Barack Obama and Joe Biden what? solving mysteries. Oh, and I want to read it very I badly. I would read the shit out of that. Yeah. Oh my god, why do we not have a national treasure movie starring them yet? You know, we'll get there. I'd skim it. <laughs> I'd skip the book because they are the national treasure. That's Aww. true. The real treasure Aww. was their friendship and wholesomeness. But also, there is a map tattooed on Barack Obama's back that will lead us to the Declaration of Independence <sighs> oh, and treasure. Wow. Wait, we know where that is. Though, Not right? anymore. What? That's crazy. Yeah. I, 2019, we lost it. I thought, oh no! I you know what? I remember that. God damn yep. it! Yep. And here, yep. I was reading his Wikipedia page and thought that his back tattoo just said "Come, Daddy." And <laughs> well, it does, and that's that's <laughs> one of the two. That's right. the that's the misdirect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Classic misdirect. If you Brock. look closely, though, <laughs> it's all a map. Brock, <laughs> Brock, <laughs> old Barry, old Barack. I actually really miss Barack Obama. Me too. Oh god, we every all day. Do. Oh no. What happened to our country? Anyway, let's talk about how great our country is, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Where are we going this time, guys? Oh. Guess what? North Dakota, <laughs> the old Indy. You know, you're just gonna ask us where we're going and then answer it. Yeah, I know. That's he right. knows where. Yeah, why did you ask? Answer? I don't know. Where are we, you didn't where even are give we us going? A to guess or I've, been, jokes. I've been drinking. <laughs> New Zealand. <laughs> where New Zealand. We're going America. to New Zealand today, folks. New Dakota. That's yeah. right. We're not going to Bad Dakota, which is South Dakota. Anything with the word South in it is the worst version. Uh, we are going <laughs> to on, North though, Dakota. Hang on. Which one? Which one has Mount Rushmore? Yes, North, that's South Dakota. I and thought, that's the bad one. 
I, I thought know. Mount Rushmore was in Montana. Full shit. You know, for it's a show I'm just saying, America, Dakota has. Of, of any of us that knows geography, it's pretty much even. I, yeah. w- I thought it was in Montana. You've been there, right? I have not been to Mount Rushmore. Oh. Oh. Neither have I. Oh, yeah. my God. The greatest, uh, the greatest exhibition faces on of a colonialism ever. <laughs> Do you remember back in... Uh, it is in South Dakota. There we go. South wow. Dakota is the best Dakota. It Whoa. Is. Yeah. Because we erased the previous mountain and put white dudes up on it. Uh, yeah, hello. that's definitely better. And then better. on the backside <laughs> yeah. of that mountain, we put a monument to Crazy Horse. So you're welcome. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Crazy it's very Taxi. Small, but the, it's there. The four <laughs> grandfathers, which that is what that used to be, uh, which was a spiritual site for Native Americans, Erased oh, and replaced by our president. I didn't know who that. are like four grandfathers to this nation. <laughs> Jefferson's oh, not my grandpappy. No, no, no. <laughs> he might be. He might be but, for you. No, Mount Rushmore. Jefferson. Pretty fucked up when you think no, about no, it. No, no, no. Hold on. No, no. Fuck Jefferson. Yeah, it's very important. We go over this. All right, let's let's do it. This episode things. about North Dakota. Yeah, <laughs> let's talk about <laughs> Thomas I, Jefferson again. He did terrible things, I, sure, yep. but ultimately we wouldn't be here today You're if right. it weren't for his writing. You're he did right. Great things terrible, but great. It's just, I don't know. Louisiana purchase anyone? That was Madison. Jefferson was just president. Your wife at the had time. nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> we like to joke here. No, you're right. Jefferson, great president, man. Yada, yada, yada. Great president, Whatever. terrible person. Yeah. yeah. Awful plantation owner. I heard one thing where I feel like I interrupted you. What were you no, going to say? Good. I heard one thing where Thomas Jefferson was like an onion, where he had like a shitload of layers. To him, like ogres, like ogres, mm-hmm. and as you peel back the layers, you're gonna find some shit you don't like and some shit that are like more onions. Yeah, like more there's onions. nothing you want less when you open an onion than what you, onions. Speak what do you for yourself? I what if you peel onions. back an onion? Like you get to like the fourth layer, and suddenly it's marshmallows. It would be horrible. Yeah, because, because I imagine it's an onion flavored <laughs> marshmallow. I'm I think okay. that'd be neat. I would. Yeah, that'd yeah, be neat. neat. That's that'd how be I'd real, describe that'd it. That'd be real neat. All right, North Dakota. North Dakota. All right. What about it? I don't know. Let's I talk. I can tell you about it. Tell us about it, Nick. What's milk going on there? is the official state beverage. Fuck yes, oh. everybody. We finally got another milk state. <laughs> Not to be confused with milk state. Very different. But I feel like saying milk state feels a lot like, like calling someone like a cuck. Like, a, what was the <laughs> milk, milk state? state? Well, like, go, back milk milk state. Milk go back to milk state. Go back to milk state, boy. Because <laughs> I can't remember boy. what that term is. There's a there's a t- milk milk toast. sop milk toast. Well, and milk sop as yes. well. But yeah. Oh, well, I mean, you're sorry. very milk toast. Sir. What does milk toast mean? Don't know. But I it's just insulting. Heard it so much. You it spell I know it's it insulting. Really but I don't weird. know why. Where you make toast and you just drench it in milk. Ooh, that sounds, sounds delicious, right? That's like a main delicacy. Too bad Victor's not here to tell it's us not whether a main or not delicacy. it is. <laughs> Stay it's tuned for next delicacy. week on Maincast. <laughs> <laughs> Give us some more fun facts. Yeah. Fun fact, man. Some more fun <laughs> facts. Uh, I can tell you that North Dakota grows more sunflowers than any other state. Really? Wow. Yes. Huh. I love sunflowers. They are beautiful. They're does beautiful that mean that better. it has more sun in North Dakota? It does not. Mm. Mm. They have to grow their own sun there. Uh, oh. Quick question. Mm. When and wow. when you guys were kids and eating sunflower seeds, did any of you actually swallow the shells? I, I ate the whole thing lot. whole. I, yep. I often do that still. Still, because the shell actually tastes really good because we're all the salt. Because it's salty right. and yeah. horrible. Yeah, whoever decided suck on the outside and then swallow the bland seed in the middle. Yeah, no, stupid. I could never open it. So I just never had sunflower seeds. You just, you know, they sell it just open already. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get a Go. whole pack for one dollar. Twenty nineteen, literally, really. It's not the same though. It's not. It's really not. Yep. Something about uh, the shell on a yeah. pistachio matters. Yeah, I'll also suck the salt off a pistachio shell. I, I like the salt off a trailer hitch. <laughs> <laughs> Why does the trailer hatch have salt on it? Because it's North Dakota. North, it's been snowing. Welcome yeah. to the Rust Belt. <laughs> this is a role play. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, what else we got shit. other than sunflowers and milk? Yeah. Uh, there's so much to know about South, about North Dakota, actually. Mm-hmm. There's tons of facts. A lot of them are really bland but really cool. Like uh, Lewis and Clark met their first grizzly brown bear in North Dakota. And what wow. what they say to it? Ooh, that's a brown bear. <laughs> Huh. Browner than I thought. <laughs> I didn't know what you were... Meanwhile, as is true fashion for them, they saw their bear for the first time, and meanwhile... Yeah. Meanwhile. Meanwhile, of course, not just, by the way, because I know we have... um, uh, What's her name who's on the uh, gold dollar? Um, Sacagawea. Sacagawea. But sh- they had nice. many guides, so all of their Native American guides saw the bear and were just like, 
you haven't seen that before. <laughs> Those things are fucking annoying, man. They're, they're, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. You guys like, need to just get ready. Okay, you're about to see a lot Those of Those are grizzly right. killers. When you guys came to our camp and you saw that all our shit was hanging up in trees, that's why. <laughs> those guys get into everything. This is actually a quote. They're from like deadly <laughs> raccoons. You yeah. remember those those little things you thought were cute little bandits? And then uh-huh. Lewis was like, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Those and things then you made all... them into hats. Remember that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, this is like a big version of that, and it wants to kill you. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh-huh. the reason this whole conversation nice. took place in English is because in 1987, they passed a bill making English the official state language. <laughs> why would they Why do, would they why? need to do that? Uh, racism, mostly. Oh, <laughs> got it. Much like every Probably. other story on this show, huh. white nice. people. Huh. White people ruin things. An American Which is podcast. why milk is the state beverage. Right. Oh, God. Yeah, Another oh, fun God. fact. I got a fun fact for y'all. Yeah. yeah uh, the uh, Deadwood movie has officially started shooting. Fucking oh. oh. finally. There's pictures of the actors in, in the costume again, and uh, nice. that's important because it takes place in North Dakota. Oh, greatest does. HBO series of all. Uh, takes place in North Dakota. I don't know if I'd say greatest of all. It's really good. Second to Game of Thrones. Ooh, no, 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 no. Whoa. I put Game of Thrones below Deadwood. Deadwood whoa. is better to game than wow. what about The Wire? Wow. Bold, Coming up on statement. Hot Take Cast. <laughs> I, I, I think Six Feet Under is the best show that HBO's ever done. I need to watch that one. I've heard scene. The Wire is the best. Wire's really good, but I, it, it's just so dry. In the Very I'm dry. in the middle of the second season, and I'm like, what the fuck? Holly's in this. The yeah. wife from uh, The Office. You remember The Office? Yeah, I watched The Office. You ever seen The Office? Holly? Who's Holly? Oh, Steve the Carell. HR yeah. rep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Steve yeah, Carell's wife. It. Spoilers oh, for Office fans. Oh, jeez. I only watch it 10 times this month. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me more. Tell me more about North Dakota. I can tell you one thing about North Dakota. I can actually tell you a lot of things. You know, my and fun fact is that North Dakota won the Civil War against South Dakota. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. actually funny you say that. South Dakota seceded from, from the North Dakota. Dakota. Right. They never fully then reconnected. Yeah. Governor Jesse Ventura killed everyone, and then now it's two states. Oh, I was about God. to. What did Jesse Ventura call one. all the people in South Dakota, Brett? Wieners. <laughs> yeah, maybe he quoted it your favorite predator line. <laughs> Probably not. Sexual tyrannosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after the secession, there was an attempt to drop the word North from the state name that was defeated in the 1947 Legislative Assembly. And then again in 1989, they also rejected two resolutions intended to rename the state Dakota. So they will forever be North Dakota. Huh. I Why know. they wanted Dakota and South Dakota is, I guess they looked Virginia at Virginia. And West Virginia. West Virginia. Yeah, they're yeah. like, well, they get to have Virginia and West Virginia. Why can't we be Dakota and South Dakota? We also, were first Dakota. W- West Virginia really just needs to change its state name yeah. to something different. It doesn't make sense. Other Virginia would be fine. It's like, not very Virginia when you go to West Virginia. Yeah, they like, should call it Hill People Land. Yeah. That's for you, Mr. Steinbaker, our, <laughs> our loyal patron. From West Virginia. You hill person, you. <laughs> That's hill people milk. <laughs> so, uh, Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Were you going to talk about that one? I was going to talk a lot about Roosevelt, actually, because what? he first came to the Dakota Territory Bully! in September 83 to hunt bison. Before he went and home he, to New York, he became he interested in he the did. cattle business. He killed a lot and established of established the Maltese Cross Ranch and the Elkhorn Ranch. Fun fact, huh. he was haunted until his dying day by bison ghost. <laughs> Every day he saw all the time charging at his home. Which is why he there are so many bullet holes in the Oval Office. <laughs> Bully holes. <laughs> Bully, it's come back. <laughs> There's a bison in here. Good God. <laughs> you can do it in the middle of cabinet Good meetings. Good God, man. Move your ass, Cleveland. <laughs> 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 yeah, the name the uh, the Rough Rider State originated in a state supported tourism promotion of the sixties and seventies, referring to the first U.S. volunteer cavalry that Theodore Roosevelt organized well, to fight in the Spanish American War. Hold on, North Dakota is called the Rough Rider State. It sure is. It's not just about people's moms. They should one hundred percent embrace that title. They should. I want to go there now. I've well, never wanted to go to North Dakota, but right? you tell me it's the Rough Rider State. I'm fucking in. Yeah, Especially because they... South Dakota is probably like, welcome to South Dakota, we have Mount Rushmore. Mountain State, Mount Rushmore State, and when don't go to it. our brother, the Rough Rider State. We don't talk about it. Yeah, man, Rough Rider State. Why don't they it. lead with that? Yeah. Like, North Teddy Dakota, Roosevelt, the Rough Rider State. North Dakota, fuck you, South Dakota. All they there have we to go. do is there open our country's <laughs> biggest 
dirt racing track in North Dakota. Mm-hmm. Call it the Rough Riding State again. Yeah, Fucking, let me drive my truck around on to. it. They don't even need to. There's so much rodeo as stuff fast as Get rid of the highways. Get <laughs> yeah. rid of all highways all and make highways. it a Mad Max hellscape <laughs> and call it the Rough Rider State. Come on down to the Killdeer Mountain Roundup. Ra- oh, shit. There's a lot here. Basically, there's the Killdeer Mountain Roundup Rodeo, which is home of North Dakota's oldest PRCA rodeo. Do they kill so deer there? They kill deer, they rodeo, and it's in the Rough Rider State. Wow, Damn. that's cool. Like, I just would go there right now. I have never in my life wanted to go to North Dakota. Yeah, let's go. Do they have that statue? Right, bye, everybody. We're going. Bye. This episode's done. We're buying plane This ticks. episode's brought to you by the Rough Rider State. The Rough Rider State. Isn't there a statue in North Dakota? Like a giant statue? There's probably statue? several. No. <laughs> no, it's like one of the largest in the world. It's a Native American woman. Is that not on your... God damn it. I don't have to look this uh, Let's shit see up. here. He's going to he's put gonna, down he's his, using his milk with ice in it. And look this it which is what he's actually I'm drinking. I'm drinking milk. Everyone in honor of North Dakota, we all are. <laughs> We're yeah, all, they all put ice in it, it's just like they do in weird. Bismarck. <laughs> I, uh, I'm gonna stick with water. Well, while you're looking that up, just we kidding. can talk about the gym. Dakota Dinosaur Straight Museum gym. in Dixon. God damn it! This sorry, the state gets better and better. I'm sorry to interrupt you. This statue's in South Dakota. God damn it. Worst Dakota? You mean the better Dakota? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, obviously. The statue called Dignity. Whatever. I'm sorry, Nick. Please. Called Dignity, Dignity whatever, whatever, South Dakota. Nick. God damn it. That's another episode. I'm just going to have to be like, remember when Ethan said all the facts about yeah. South Dakota? Yeah, just Victor, rewind it, play that part. <laughs> that's South Dakota. That, that's done. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, the Dakota Dinosaur Museum in Dixon houses 12 full scale dinosaurs. Thousands of rock, mineral, and fossil specimens, and a couple of real Triceratops and Edmontosaurus. What? They have Teddy Roosevelt history and dinosaurs? This it's, is by far the best. It's thing. a Rough Rider state because he rode in on a dinosaur. <gasps> because uh, I am a fundamentalist no. Christian, and I'm pretty sure that's how old it all is. Wow. I am pretty positive that you were correct. I'm no scientist, but I think you guys are right. <laughs> um, one thing I do know about North Dakota. Have you yeah. guys ever heard of Ellendale, North Dakota? No, I have not. Allentown? Ellendale. No. Allentown. Annisburg. No, I have Ellendale. Heard of Ellendale. <laughs> Ellendale, uh, where you can. Oh, no. God. Sasquatch. It's back. No. It's back, ladies and gentlemen. 2019 edition. That's it, though. I'm just telling you that they saw one in Ellendale. I have no story to oh, tell you. Oh, that's it. Fun story about Ellendale, though. It is uh, home to the oldest attraction, the Opera House. Built in 1909, it has a seating capacity for 1,000 patrons. Well, but how many just... Sasquatches? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're up to 1,000. You know, wow. North, wow. <laughs> North Dakota is also home to, I think, one of the latest hoax Sasquatch findings, uh, like 2016. A guy claimed to have found a body of a Sasquatch and put it in a fucking giant cooler, and it was just not a Sasquatch body. <laughs> it was just a Uncle Lewis. Friend he killed <laughs> a giant hairy friend. He 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 did tar and herring. A yeah. tar he and herring. feathers so. right. covered in fish. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What did it turn out to be? Did they? It was not just Sasquatch. a suit. <laughs> Oh, and, yeah. Oh. In a cooler. It's just huh. somebody's fursuit. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You weren't supposed to see that. Uh, it's a Sasquatch <laughs> I found. I'm definitely not into having sex in a fursuit. It's a Sasquatch in a cooler. Let's not dig it. <laughs> Who else has something to talk about? <clears throat> oh, this Sasquatch carcass smells like balls. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think... So the people that live in North Dakota yeah. probably feel real disconnected from the rest of us, right? Like I think on purpose. They're basically Canada. Yeah. They're like our Canada, I think. Yeah. No one lives there. It's yeah. a very small population. I know one person who lives there. Yeah. Are they happy? <laughs> and that's Dakota the end of my story. Good story. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I, know. They're a teacher in North Dakota. It seems cold all the time. They have an education system there. They That's do. They have schools. You would think that a lot of these big tech companies would just buy up cheap land there to put their like headquarters. You you like, yeah, think. that's our data center. Yeah. yeah we don't really... It's, Fuck it. it would just like naturally cool it. There's tons of oil money there. and they uh, have, That's why they don't put their uh, stuff there. Never mind. You said it. You said yep. the keyword. Oil. 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 oil Black money. gold. <laughs> Texas tea. <laughs> Yeah, there's only the God, 2017 America's estimated great. population, 755,000 people. That's it? Less than 1 million in the entire state, wow. which has, uh, you know, a rough density of 11.7 square miles per person. How many of those people do you think are furries? All of them. <laughs> Probably not a lot. I do they imagine. have like a club? Probably a lot higher than 
a lot of it, like, percentage-wise. You think it would be higher because there's less people and probably they're on the internet more because they're bored? Yeah. I Well, I also think just percentage-wise. Well, like, there's only 700,000 people there, right? Have you guys seen the flag? No. What no. does it look like? Is it a fursuit? It's, it's this eagle that is very busy. He's got a banner in his mouth, some kind of twigs in his leg, and then the other leg is full of arrows, and there's so, a sun is, and Basically on, the quarter. Is so this is, this, is, this is fascinating. So they did the American Eagle in that it has the arrows in one in one uh, talon and the olive branch in the other. But they've made this their state flag with the eagle constantly facing the olive branch, which is a very peaceful statement. Huh. Um, that is actually, by the way, how you know if the United States considers itself at war is we will change the fl- uh, the eagle in the president's office and in Congress and all that. The eagle will face the arrow and no of the olive branch. Is that why it's <laughs> which never faced face the face olive it branch? Now. It's facing olive branch right now. It I feel really like that's shouldn't wrong. be. I feel like that's super wrong. Well, we're not officially <laughs> at any wars. But the eagle's have... closed its eyes and is singing itself to sleep. <laughs> the eagle at this point is just drinking heavily and hoping yeah. to get through the night. And Much eagle, like us, am I right, boys? <laughs> am I right? Because <laughs> I'm proud to be an American. <laughs> Where do we stand? No, oh, I'm free. Fair use. Fun, unrelated fact. Yeah. Do you know that guy sold out and wrote that same song for Canada? <laughs> That's awesome. That is the most American thing he could have done, actually. It really is. <laughs> wow. Good for him. I'm proud to be Canadian where at least I can drink maple syrup. <laughs> That's good. That's good. good. That's, good, That's good, a good lyric. Line. Good line. Is that it for fun facts? That's think, all I got unless I sneak another one in there. Think we're like tapped prominent. out on him. Well, then let's uh, cut to a commercial break and we'll be back with some spook ghosts. Spook. Oh, hey there, folks. It's me, Shimmer Wolf, coming to you live from Bismarck Public Radio to tell you about the third annual Fur Festival here in snowy Bismarck, North Dakota. It's going to be held at the Doubletree off of Highway 72 here in Bismarck. That's right. Hey, you Foxworthy here to tell you about the family-friendly Fur Fest. We have kicking it off the first night, brought to you by Bad Dragon Dildos. And then Saturday night, we're going to kick it up a notch for the Fursuit Optional Pool Party. DJed by Tanuki Globes, also sponsored by Bad Dragon Dildos. And then, for those of you that don't conform to the other two, we'll let the fur fly down at our other kin prom, brought to you by Shoney's. It's going to be a real yiffin' good time here in Bismarck. We had 17 attendees last year, and we're hoping to raise the bar this year to 25. We're trying to have a full litter here, so come on down. Bring everybody. Hey guys, uh, welcome. Hey. Look at that. That was hey. an ad that was given to us by a sponsor from uh, North Dakota. We're Listen, so rich. I just need the money, okay? That's we need, right. We need we'll, to keep the show rolling. We'll we run anything. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, that's right. Yeah, anything. You this pay is the us? internet. Whatever. Yeah. yeah, whatever you want to say. Uh, well, maybe not white supremacists. You guys are kind of off limits. Yeah, we don't yeah. need your dirty money. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. Oh. Give it to the NRA. Am I right, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> they <can> buy <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Uh, They'll take anything because they're basically a terrorist organization. <laughs> <laughs> they, they truly are. Yeah. <laughs> they're, what's wrong with this country? They, they're a special interest groups that that is breaking our lobby. Yep. Uh, <laughs> they're great. actually controlled by Russia. I, uh, I can't uh, sleep at night. Yeah. Oh God, I'm I'm going gray. <laughs> <laughs> is this what it felt like the days before Rome burnt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, anyway let's I talk see. about ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we got? What, what first story? Do you want me to do the no, first story? Give, it, give us some spook, man. Can we I, talk about how organized we are every time? Yeah. Spook inside so me. So <laughs> here's, the, here's probably one of my favorite stories from North Dakota. And it's about the former governor's mansion. What? Jesse Ventura? Jesse Ventura. <laughs> the God. former governor's mansion is in Bismarck. Huh. Just huh. like our sponsor. That's wow, right. that's great. I, love, previous I ad. love their biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> great stuff. You know, you're thinking of Biz Marquis. Ah, my bad. I love I his love single. His one song that yep. was good. Yeah. You say it's just a buttermilk biscuit. That's all it is. So here's the story. Muffins. So it's oh, a great. Excuse me. Sorry. So sorry. We were talking about Jiffy Corn Muffins. You get it. Thank Those you. are super good. I get They're it. real good. <laughs> this, and they can be, they're so versatile. You can mix it into anything. It can anything. be dessert. Can this be episode brought appetizer. to you by Corn Muffins, apparently. <laughs> you sprinkle some sugar on it, eat it with coffee. Doesn't matter. It's just good. <laughs> sorry. What were you saying? No, it's fine. 
So have you guys this- ever tried? Not even. Not, I'm doing what Ethan does to us every time. I hate but it. Just a quick aside. Oh, so just, uh, just my a- grandmother has the pan that looks like little corns, and she likes to make the corn muffins and the little so, corns. And I think it really, I think it really adds to the experience. You know what I'm just saying? Of- I went up the hill. It's okay. <laughs> Damn, solid impressions. <laughs> I like national parks. Yeah, they're great. <laughs> So, I'm afraid that Bill is going to just kill himself on the air. Who is, I am Bill and always have. Been. Who is Bill? Who is Ethan? So this <laughs> this grand two and a half story mansion was originally built for an entrepreneur named Asa Fisher, who had an interesting work history. He was a wholesale liquor dealer. Liquor, nice. I barely know her. Yeah, <laughs> classic. And a registrar for the Bismarck Land Office. He was also the president of a bank. That so was a very versatile yeah, business. Yeah, a real fat yeah. cat. What a life, right? I bet he was on the Chamber of Commerce and probably the Rotary Club. <laughs> I bet he was. So after living in this house for nine years, he sold the mansion for $5,000 in 1893. So that was like, what, $7 million? That was about $50 billion <laughs> at the time. So it became the official residence of the governor of North Dakota, and 20 governors who were elected to the office in the great state of North Dakota lived in this spacious mansion with their families. All at the same time, that must have been one big house. <laughs> it was incredible. Yeah. Part of the bylaws of North Dakota is once you live somewhere, you can never move. They just keep adding and shoving in governors yep, into the mansion. Exactly. Move over. We need to get the new one in there. <laughs> so uh, in 1960, a new governor's mansion was built, and they moved out of this mansion. And in 1975, the State Historical Society of North Dakota bought this mansion and started renovating it. Right? So. Here is the spooky part. Whoa. Here it comes. The old master bedroom where Governor Whoa. Jim Briggs died. <gasps> he died? Dude died in there. Of what? Of Guess what? Guess what he died of? Tuberculosis. He did. Self- oh. Damn. Good guess. Autoerotic I, I swear I didn't look it up. The door... Uh, it's an active area for paranormal activity. The door to the master bedroom opens and closes. The curtains move by themselves when no one is in the living room. And there is no breeze. The clo- it's North Dakota. The closet door in the bedroom slams itself shut all by itself. But it's a heavy door and it takes some force to slam it. Footsteps <laughs> can be heard on the staircases. And the staff and visitors, because you can visit this place. Yeah, sure. I've heard footsteps on the staircase going to the basement and on the staircase leading from the second floor to the attic as well. And at least in one instance, a visitor caught an EVP, (gasps) an electronic voice phenomenon. That's crazy. Telling her not to go up into the attic. Not in the attic. That's where the spooky things happen historically. (laughs) Or the basement. That's right. Or the bedroom. Yeah. Or the kitchen. kitchen. Yep. Usually the kitchen. Sometimes the bathroom. So at the time. Just bathroom. (laughs) So at the time. Uh, there was a guy working there who used to be a butler for the governor. Yes, they, I used to butler for him. Yeah, before they moved out. I'm a great butler. And he was convinced that Governor Briggs haunted the house, so much so that when the governor and the family would leave the mansion for a trip, the butler would sleep in a hammock outside because he wouldn't sleep in the house. Because ghosts of governors only respect other governors. <laughs> that makes sense. I get As that. elected tracks. officials, that's yeah. their peer group. But I you, get it. <laughs> I get it. They're part of an elite society at that point. But I liked that it was kind of like, you know, people think the White House is haunted. I dig it that uh, this former governor's mansion is also haunted. Who do you think haunts the White House? Uh, Lincoln. McKinley. Abe Lincoln. And uh, JFK. I have heard about JFK. In his uh, sex room that we saw in the movie Mars Attacks. Ask not Ugh. what the ghosts could do for you. What a... Ask what you could do for the ghosts. Like, take off your shirt, you busty gal. <laughs> yep. That, that was a weird. great Kennedy that impersonation, was... <laughs> Nick. You, you didn't even Nailed throw in an IRA. Which would have identified I-ra. you as Kennedy. <laughs> nope. It's just, it's just somebody who works in the White House who's never heard John F. Kennedy speak. IRA. <laughs> That's era. Kennedy. Era. 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 Take off uh, your top. I can't do a Kennedy. Era. Era. 
I uh, take off your top. I don't. I, I just can't, can't do that yeah, Catholic yeah. accent. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm you got to add more guilt to it. But you should be good accent? at that. No, the, no, it's the Boston. Catholic, I, a Catholic yeah. accent sounds a lot more like, uh, what are we doing there, little boy? Good, good, good. What else is the spooky story? Quick, now? back to North Dakota. <laughs> We're going to avoid spookiness for a second. Let's talk about Norse Coast Fest. Oh, God, that sounds white supremacy. Norse Coast Fest. Well, no, does. this is about this is about the Norse before Mjolnir was taken. Taken by white supremacists. Oh, okay. Cool. It's about the historical Norse. Was Mjolnir taken by the white supremacists? Oh, yeah. absolutely. It's Personally really Norse disappointing uh, that 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 symbol is now basically an icon for white supremacists. No, yeah. the good Mjolnir. news is actual Norse folk are you know actively like fighting to take it. Oh, off. Yeah, being yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Don't really use our shit. But it it's not going to work because you know it's already tattooed on a bunch of people. Who, yeah, well, uh, but uh, when actively... those guys die, you know what? Fight From... tattoos. I don't give a shit what yeah. people tattoo on themselves. Yeah. So Norse they don't Coast, get mule near Nor- Norse Norse <laughs> Coast Fest, which on their website is called Pure Scandemonium. That's hilarious. <laughs> Why didn't we get like, an ad from them? Pure Scandemonium. Pure Scandemonium. Uh, for those of you in the UK, you're going to really care about this. Uh, Daniel O'Donnell is going to be there this year. <laughs> what? Do you guys know Daniel O'Donnell, famed no. Irish folk singer? What? No. That's a celebrity, I guess. It is a celebrity. <laughs> Apparently in Ireland, uh, he is a celebrity. They uh, have celebrities? Yeah. I mean, aren't Colin Farrell. <laughs> Ed Sheeran? That's, that's normally it. But yeah, Daniel O'Donnell, uh, he'll be there. Also, there'll be a bunch of people who dress up like trolls. And walk around for beauty pageants, so Great. that's kind of cool. Uh, just kind of like fun. the normal beauty pageants yeah. in North Dakota. Uh, and also, uh, what's, <laughs> oh, what's, oh, what's the name ugly. of that uh, uh, comedian who does uh, ventriloquism? Jeff Dunham. <laughs> Jeff Dunham. I mean, who knows? Well, he's not going to be there, but Terry Fator is. And the picture of him is with his six puppets, and they look just as culturally inappropriate. <laughs> oh, God, uh, what do we have? What is this guy doing? We wait for the picture to come so back. quickly. We've got, like, an Asian woman. We've got, oh, uh, no. we've got a guy, oh, Tierra looking guy. He's going to be there. We've Flavor got, country. We've got what looks like a Koopa <laughs> from Mario Brothers. Uh, there is a black what? puppet, oh, and oh, I have oh, to imagine why? he does a voice with it. Oh, God, why would you do that? Why would you do that at a thing called Norsk Fest? Uh, well, that's a great question you got there. But, uh, yeah, all together, it uh, looks like a really good time. Uh, if you really like Norse culture, it's something you can go check out in uh, North Dakota. I mean, I do like Vikings a lot. Yeah. And oh. Norse mythology is cool, but that puppet man sounds insensitive and like a bad call. <laughs> what you should look up I pictures of the Vikings? people in the uh, troll masks and you will see Are they that. Good? Uh, well, they're good masks, which, of course, make them terrifying. Oh, I'm excited to look at that. Maybe yeah. we'll post some of those on the Twitter. Norse Coast Fest. Nor- pure Scandemonium. Pure Scandemonium here at Norse Coast Fest. <laughs> bork, bork, bork. So I, I've, I've got one for you. Uh, so if you guys had to guess, where would you think the stairway to hell is, you know, in the entire globe? Probably around the corner from the stairway to heaven. So you walk down one, you turn <laughs> around and go down the other. That is a logical place to yeah. put staircases right next to one another. Yep. But right. Where do you think in the world it might be? Is it in probably North Dakota? Yeah. You're sure as hell right it oh, is. Oh, <laughs> it's, it it's in a small town called Tagus, North Dakota. As in Tagus right to hell. Am right. right? Tag- <laughs> 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 so you can take us the stairway straight to hell, but hang I'm, out with Satan. Uh, so basically, uh, North Dakota is apparently littered with small towns that were once like booming frontier towns uh, that have now become ghostly like and Deadwood. unpopulated. Like Deadwood, yeah. So Tagus is one of those. Uh, founded in the early 1900s, and it's now basically abandoned. So oh. uh, there's a rumor that circulates around this town that there's an old Lutheran church that was once a hotbed for satanic worship. Wait, at a Lutheran church? Uh-huh. That don't sound right. That doesn't sound Whoa. right. It seems mixed up. You'd think they do that at the Church of Satan, but guess they got their maps quest directions wrong, right? Does anyone does that joke still play? It's 2019. I don't, I don't know. Is that no? It's, as long as they okay. got the right triptych from AAA, they know their way. <laughs> it's like 1950s version of MapQuest. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the Lutheran Church uh, uh, was uh, at one point in time burned down by vandals, and a lot of people say that or the- by Satan. True. True. The, Maybe the, the, uh, fly- the stairway's the- right there. All he had exactly. to do was walk upstairs, burn the shit down, and run back down to his house. Hilarious prank. So uh, at some point Got in time, him. on the ruins of the church, somebody painted a large upside down cross on it. Hail Satan! And underneath the church is where you could say 
you could step right into hell again. Hail Satan. So that's that being said, there's a couple spooky things that happen in and around this uh, abandoned, burned down husk of a building. Uh, first of all, being hellhounds. Uh, so some visitors that are obviously trespassing, by the way, uh, report being greeted. <laughs> that's by, what we're. Yeah. yeah, that's what we should really be concerned with here. Not those good, good old fashioned Satanists, but yeah. the trespassers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so uh, they're law violators. Exactly. I don't. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. Listen. Me neither. That won't play. <laughs> that sign says that you can't be here, and you obey the sign. Unless it's a stop sign in a parking lot, those are basically You're essentially illegal. an illegal. So, uh, hellhounds uh, greet them by barking and chasing them off of the premises, which... That's why we have Rough Riders, to fight the hellhounds. Right. Uh-huh. They are the rough, R-U-F-F. Yeah. <laughs> There's also a small graveyard attached to it, where it one a tombstone right. that is all the uh, inscriptions are now worn off and obscured is said to glow unexplainedly at night. There is also supposedly a translucent ghost train that passes by the property, and uh, people report general sounds of you know uh, general stories of ghosts happening in around the church and in the uh, abandoned houses around the church as well. So uh, it's a little creepy little farm area that looks like somebody burned down the church or rather probably got struck by lightning and then some local kids probably painted an upside down cross on it because that's hilarious very funny very <laughs> funny and guys no look one... what i drew on this it's a church but the cross is upside down oh <laughs> jeff you him. did it again did you know that that means satan or were you just trying to be funny and look at this a with a circle around it fuck the government <laughs> it's anarchy <laughs> right <laughs> So, oh, I yeah. thought that was the symbol you used on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Both. Yeah. So, it's not supposed to be a lowercase a if you mean anarchy. You know that, right? That's the ad No, side. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, because you do uppercase. That's what makes it anarchy. No. Th- what? Hey, guys, we oh, got to get shit. going soon. It's way past curfew. The streetlights are coming on. <laughs> Oh, jeez. That geez. still plays here where it's, you know, small town America. Oh, oh, the yeah. lamplighter's coming around to light the lamps. <laughs> it's 2001. <laughs> hey, you kids, get away from that church. Get away from that goddamn church. <laughs> oh, no, cheese it. Don't you know? It's the groundskeeper. <laughs> Hobo's fucking there. <laughs> That's going to be really funny in a little while. Oh, God. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the uh, stairway to hell. Nice. Tagus, North Dakota. Would you take the stairway? Absolutely, I would go check out hell. I'd go see the rest of my family. <laughs> Grandpa, why aren't you here? <laughs> For obvious reasons, he would be in hell. <laughs> <laughs> my grandfather was a grand wizard. Nice. So, I'm just kidding. I'm from New York. <laughs> Darn. I mean, they Jesus have the KKK Christ. in New York. That's not I don't think so. It's just called South. the Better Business Bureau. <laughs> Damn. Fucking got him. One more. Triple one more B. for you guys. <laughs> yeah. This is not Satan related. This is another cryptid. That's a shame. I know. I'm but sorry. But it's a cryptid. We don't get enough of those lately. Uh, I already told you guys about a Sasquatch. Sasku? Ooh. You told us about one. Maybe we can hear about another one. Ooh. So, the Mini Washitu, uh, also known as the Water Monster of the Missouri River, uh, is a supposedly a terrifying hairy beast that travels the Missouri River in central North Dakota. Mm. It is said to be a bipedal creature similar to the, do you guys remember this from West Virginia? The sheep squatch, that really shitty Sasquatch. Yeah, oh, yeah. That I was apparently covered that. in wool or some shit. I don't know. It's really cold remember. up there in the Ozarks. It gets cold out there. <laughs> But uh, the mini Washitu is said to be a seven to eight foot tall uh, bipedal creature with tough bison-like hide and fur, a single eye like a Sasquatch, and one bison horn Wait, set above the hang eye. On. Hold Let's up. rewind. You mean like a, a cyclops? That's what I meant to say. <laughs> oh, Sorry. There we go. Cyclops, yes. This whole time uh, I was, I was like, like our, what? Scott Summers. Yeah. Our <laughs> icon has been so wrong for so long. So uh, also said this shit has creepy bit legged elf or elk-like legs. Oh, Ooh. reverse uh, knees? Reverse knees <laughs> with hooves. Cloven uh, hooves. And a... Was that not a movie? Full man well, I mean, hands. I think that's just like, in general. Like, isn't that a like like pan was? Yeah. You know, what's that called again? Now? Right. A, a satyr. A satyr. Yeah. yeah. So isn't yeah. it just like a pretty satyr common thing quatch? in folklore? Yeah. Like kind of like a satyr squatch, but um, <laughs> and it also has <laughs> just straight up people hands. 
Nothing Ooh. weird, just regular My people. My favorite is the <laughs> hand gestures you put with it. This is radio, yeah. so they can't tell, but it was basically a boob honking a gesture. <laughs> <laughs> so that means he can wear gloves, so oh. at least he's not going to be cold out there in North <laughs> he could, Dakota. He can learn all the musical he instruments. Learn American Sign Language <laughs> he chose to do so. What if he yeah. does? Uh, he but what, if, <laughs> what if she does? Okay. What if oh, they wow. do? You fucking <laughs> insensitive Don't asshole. you out What if she does? Wow. <laughs> so the minute... Uh, it. Mini, okay, I call it it. 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 Z. Uh, I, maybe. Preferably. I don't know. So, so sorry. What, is what does Tumblr last say? Thing, Z. This shit has a spiny backbone that protrudes out in spikes like the fucking chupacabra. Oh, so, damn. to recap, satyr legs, yep. people hands, yep. chupacabra back, cyclops eye, creepy fucking horn growing out of it. It kind of just sounds like someone in North Dakota did a shit ton of opium. And had just finished reading like some spooky stories yeah. or listening to our podcast and just <laughs> merged it all together. I was yeah. going to say, it sounds like Yahtzee. Like if each dice was a different animal part or a different cryptid part, yeah. he shook the Yahtzee cup and then, oh, look at this. It's got satyr legs, people hands, blah, 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 it's blah, kind blah. of It's, it's kind of like, it's kind of a good D&D monster. It's kind of like how the lie. Mormon yeah. religion started, right? Yeah. Like it's yeah. just a guy was like, yeah, and it uh, and had people hands. And lo, it so, blesses you with its people hands. You gotta be scared of that and because like, it's also got a spiny back like that chupacabra you've heard about too. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, yeah. And I've seen it. I know you haven't, but you gotta trust me because I've seen it. I've seen it. So I've seen it. You haven't. Fuck you guys it. go ahead and give me some money so I can work on our preparedness fund. Yeah. So we can make sure that we are well armed for when it shows up again. So. So what does it do? what does it do? Ah, let's get to that. Don't just take my word for it, folks. Let's listen to uh, one-time curator for the North Dakota State Historical Society, Melvin Randolph Gilmore, talking way back in 1921. How you doing, Melvin Randolph Gilmore? Here. <laughs> so his words, not mine. It is said that in the long ago there was a mysterious being within the stream of the Missouri River. It was seldom seen by human beings and was most dreadful to see. It is said that sometimes it was seen within the water in the middle of the stream, causing a redness shining like the redness of fire as it passed up the stream against the current with a terrific roaring sound. The mini was she too. And they say that it is being dreadful was seen by anyone in the daytime. Anyone thus saw it soon became crazy and continued restlessly and writhing as though in pain until he was relieved by death. And it is said that one time, not of great very many years ago, this frightful being was seen by a man and he told of how it appeared. He said that it was of strange form, covered all over with hair like a buffalo, but red in color that it only had one eye in the middle of its forehead and above that a single jagged horn. Its backbone stood out notched and jagged like an enormous saw. And as soon as the man beheld the awful sight, everything became dark to him. He was just able to reach his home, but he lost his reason and soon died. So basically it makes you go insane and you die like some sort of H.P. Lovecraft monster. Damn. That was a lot. Yeah. Bummer. And this guy was what again? Uh, that was the uh, one-time curator for the North Dakota Historical Society. So did, I'm assuming after he made that statement, he lost his job because everyone that he worked with now could no longer trust him. <laughs> That's why as one a historical time. reference point. One yeah, it's probably curator. local folklore gets bundled up in your shitty little museum too. Like, yeah, but he he said it like you. it was really real. That was quite descriptive. Yeah, it was quite good. So the, just witnessing the thing drives you crazy. Yep, much like uh, the Dark Lord Cthulhu drives uh, you crazy if you look at him for too uh, long. Yeah. I've played that Arkham board game. I... Should I read H.P. Lovecraft or not? <laughs> uh, some of it. Some. Just remember he's racist. Crazy racist. <laughs> you know, just keep what that should in I, mind. What should I read? What should I start with? At the Mountains of Madness. Great one. Great one. Uh, Call of Cthulhu. Great one. Yep. Okay. Dunwich Horror. Great yeah. one. I'll do that triple. Yeah, that's like the best of right there. I can't remember the one we did for <laughs> Those um, are the hits. Uh, for uh, the uh, when we were doing audiobooks. We did that one of the person coming to the home and seeing yeah. a book full of yeah. uh, different pictures of yeah. that one was kind of racist. I remember that cannibalism. One. Yeah, it yeah. was very racist. That one was racist. I remember yeah. that one. But like still great story, very spooky. Yeah, very, yeah. very creepy shit. But you just have to remember he's a super racist. That's it. Yeah. All right. Well, there as we go. As long as you don't read it and go, Well, that sounds like a good idea. You know what? Fine. Yeah, it's yeah, a good point. Right. Yeah, why don't we call it Blackest Africa anymore? <laughs> good, good, good. Well, everybody, we don't for good reason. Yeah. <laughs> we don't 
H.P. Lovecraft, you can uh, you can stay in your grave. Thank you. Say yep. hello to the yep. rest of my family. <laughs> 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 that's a hell joke, everybody. Yeah. Sad but true. So yeah. All right. That's uh, that's all I got for the smaller stories, guys. Wow. So everybody, stay tuned because we have something very special coming for you here in just a few minutes. I hope you're excited for another radio drama. I'm not. You're not. I am. I'm I, excited. I Show am. of hands. Oh, that doesn't work on the radio. Oh, so, uh, show everyone at home, show Twitter. your hands. Everyone, we'll see their uh-huh. hands. We'll see it. You can show us those hands by liking us on Twitter. I'll uh-huh. tell you more about that later. Yeah, well, when they play <laughs> that clip. But most importantly, show of hands while you're driving. Okay? Yeah. That's important. Both and hands off the wheel. I'll, uh, just you know what? Wherever. Actually, if this makes Raise you happy. Raise the roof for about five, five minutes, minutes while driving. <laughs> it, pretend it's a sneeze. Just close your eyes. Yep. <laughs> like one long sneeze. That's what it's like listening to our show, everybody. And thank you so much. So, yeah, stay tuned. We got something spooky in the works for you. And one last word from our sponsors. Hey there, folks. Larry Townsend here from the South Dakotan Board of Tourism. Now, we've been spending some time in uh, the great state of North Dakota, our neighbors to the north there. But uh, you got to pardon my French here when I say North Dakota's full of jerks. Here in South Dakota, we know a little thing or two about Southern Dakotan hospitality. We got some big things coming to you folks here in hashtag Better Dakota, where we are hashtag perfectly picturesque. Why don't you come and stay a while? Take a picture with those four old presidents uh, that we carved up on that mountain. I, I forget the name of it, but maybe uh, if you're not into that, why don't you check out that uh, indigenous woman that's really big? That's also a statue. We got two of them here. Count them two. That's as many Radisons as we got. And big news, everybody. Coming soon to a South Dakota near you, a new Chick-fil-A. Now, I ain't had it myself, but I hear that the chicken is very tasty. And you know what? They're not open on Sundays, and I appreciate that very much. So why don't you come and stay a while for some South Dakotan hospitality here in South Dakota. Hashtag Better Dakota. South Dakota brought to you by Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. On January 13, 2001, four community college sophomores broke into the San Haven Sanatorium to explore the grounds searching for ghosts. This cassette was leaked two years ago after sitting in an evidence locker in the Dunseith Police Department. GFY LLC is not responsible for the content you are about to hear. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen of the night. The Fargo Paranormal Club from North Dakota State College proudly presents our first live investigation from the field. Remember, folks, follow us on our live journal and add us as a friend on MySpace. You can get at us on LimeWire. Here we go, everybody. We're here in the San Haven Sanatorium in the Turtle Mountains on the border of Canada, exploring the most haunted place in North Dakota. Mark, make sure you put in an edit that sounds like something scary for the website. Okay, yeah. So uh, to be clear, we are here on our own without permission, and we accept any and all liability. God damn it, Mark. That's not good web entertainment. We're here to scare the fuck out of our listeners. Uh, No, but uh, seriously, he's right. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're trespassing, and uh, I don't think Professor Rasmussen said we could borrow all this stuff. Please shut up, Chris. You're being a real mock right now. This is going to be the best content FPCs ever made. You know, it really doesn't sound cool when you abbreviate it like that. That's not what we're here to debate. Tell the people about the place we're checking out, Teddy. Okay. okay. So uh, here we are, folks from the Internet. This is the San Haven Sanatorium, which was built in the early 20th century to house tuberculosis patients. And uh, it's said that, like, Probably hundreds of people died here on this spot. Yeah, so for you guys listening before our video comes out, this shit is mad scary. It looks like straight out of a horror movie. It's it's made all of like out of bricks and shit and it's covered in graffiti. It's like four stories tall and it's like crazy abandoned. It looks like a place where homeless people do fuck and they, they you know, they, they meth and they fuck each other and there's supposed to be some kind of crazy fucking hauntings going on in this bitch. Hey, Garrison, could you tone it down? Yeah, this man. is, uh, yeah, it's going on the internet, and I'm not too sure, but I, I'm pretty positive you can't swear like that so, on the... So, so yeah, th- oh, this okay. place is super creepy. From what I read about, you know, it once had beautiful gardens, like, exactly where we are right now, but now it's, like, crazy overgrown because it's abandoned. Uh, but guys, be careful where you step. We're coming up on the door now. Uh, hey, hey, Garrison, do you think that you could... Wow, crazy. Look at that. It was just left right open. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure we're b and Eing right now, and I, I don't think we're supposed to be b and Eing. Uh, okay, okay, listeners, here we go. So, we're coming inside now. Pretty creepy, right, guys? It seems to be empty. Huh. Huh, well, uh, that's weird. Uh, 
It's, uh, it's, it's, it's making a beep, and that, that's new. It didn't do that outside. It must be some kind of interference. Huh. Well, yeah, that is weird. But, yeah, yeah, this, this place was built to house tuberculosis patients, and uh, they, they did that for, like, 40 years, I think, until a cure was found. I, I was actually reading about this at the library, and it seems like if you caught it, you had, like, a 50-50 shot of living. Shit, man, that's scary. Glad we live here in 2001 where basically all diseases are cured and stuff like cancer will be cured in, like, what, 10 years? Definitely no more than 18 years from now. I, guys, I just really don't think we should be in here. Professor Rasmussen said we could, we should not take all of this stuff. Mark, you're being a real dick right now. You know that, right? Uh, does anybody know what this beeping means? No, dude, I, I thought you did. Try taking some pictures with your digital camera. You see anything? Man, having a camera in one hand, a cell phone in the other, and a flashlight in your pocket is a great thing. I'm glad that we have all these things. What a great time to be alive. Yeah, it is. Uh, but uh, there's uh, nothing on here but a bunch of weird balls of light. So I, I think this camera's kind of, uh, you know, pardon my French, but fucked up. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Come on, narrator. Tell the people some more. Hey, uh, could you at least not smoke in here? I mean, it's it's like a hospital. People died in here. Uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it was like a lung hospital or something. Yeah, so can you listeners just imagine the suffering and the death that happened here? Like, these people had, like, no hope at all. It's pretty somber stuff, really. I mean, hey, guys, watch out for that cow! Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I was looking at the audio levels. Oh, yeah, and I was being disrespectful. This is Joe. What? Well, well, here, here, here what? what? You're really freaking me out, man. Fuck, it blew out my smoke. Did you did you uh, not close the door? Come on. Quick, t- take more pictures. Oh, hey, uh, my batteries are dying on the cam. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, shit, check this out. I think I got something. That looks just like a person. Nah, man, that looks like a shadow on that rusty old bed. Let's go in and check it out. Okay, okay. so we're going to what looks like an old patient's room. There's... There's a bunch of rusty furniture and a gross old mattress and... Yep, almost Fox Palace confirmed. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? This is weird. No, no thank you. I would like... I want to leave. C- c- come on, Mark. We're not even close to getting good content. How is this even going to get viral on LimeWire? Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Okay. So, yeah. Um, guys, just, just imagine yourself being in these patients' room uh, and being in their shoes and knowing that you only have a 50-50 chance of ever leaving, right? Uh, You can really feel the oppressive emotion of the building in this room that we're standing in. You can almost imagine, you know, the doctors and the nurses running around and hear the coughing of the patients. (coughs) Oh, fuck! What was that? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm sorry. That was me. (sighs) Don't do that. Uh, Hey, guys. Uh, What does it mean if it's, like, really red on this uh, EMF detector? Seriously, Chris, you don't. Why don't you know that, huh? It was literally your only job on this whole trip. You you couldn't even read the main. This is Officer Keeler of the Dunseth Police Department. Whoever is in there, you are trespassing in a very dangerous building. Oh shit! We are going to get arrested. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? Do we run? Do we hide? Do we talk to him? Uh, guys, it, it's like, I mean, it's really red. I I didn't know it could go this far. Please leave. Please leave. He's coming. He's coming. You don't want to be. Oh, 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 God, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, 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 hang on, this place has lights? Oh, God, something touched me. Uh, guys, uh, the EMF thing, it just uh, sparked up and died a bit, uh, so I think I'm done. I'm done here now. I'd like to leave, please. Chris, come back. You're going to get arrested if we don't hide. Stay where you are. If you've been doing drugs and knowing each other biblically, please just cover yourself. Stay where you are. Don't move. Oh, fuck. I knew it. There's definitely meth heads fucking each other in this place. Please stay where you are. This building is very dangerous. There are unlocked elevator rooms. He's coming. He's, he's coming. He knows you're here. You can leave. Leave now. Don't stay. What is going on in this place? Did you, look, just pick a room and hide and get the fuck out of here once this cop leaves. Oh, fucking finally we can get out of this place. Hey. You kids, you know you're fucking around in here, and I know you are. We just want to take you somewhere safe. This place is condemned. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Oh, something touched me. Something touched me. Mark.
Mark, hide in here. Seriously, stop running, kids. The elevator's all over the place in there. <laughs> oh, fuck, someone's in here. Someone's touching me. Just fucking hide. Get out of here. Come on. Welcome home. Oh, fuck. <gasps> oh, jeez. We've got a likely 1054 at the San Haven Sanatorium. <sighs> Fucking kids. I'm Corva Coleman. If you like what you've been listening to, please consider supporting us on Patreon, where you'll get access to our Discord server, buttons, stickers, and the satisfaction of knowing that you kept a show going about ghosts. Thank you, and good night. <laughs>